Hi, my SRP username is HiBotGL and as I promised Jimmy to make the sharpen razors video and put it on online and I will do try do so tonight. I'm sorry about my English, if it is not clear I will do my best talk slowly as much as I can. What you see on the table is all the homes. There are different names, different brands and I put some in here and I will try to use every single of them if I can or just show how you use on narrow homes and how you use wider ones. This one is that everybody knows, this is Lovely Stone. Many people like this Norton 4 8K. This is two plates in here. They are diamond plates. One is a diamond 1200, and another one is a diamond 3 micron, 83 and 62 size. There is a Isha Homes that's 16,000 Shepton. I just get from Jimmy as a gift, by the way. Then there's a couple more issues in there and then there's Barbar Homes in here and on the back side Belgians, Craftsman, Razor Home and a couple more Belgians and the Razor Home. What I'm going to do I will try to do start from zero and home all the way until the edge gets as sharp as it can be. This is the magic radio sharp microscope. It zooms from 60 to 100 and you can focus. This is a really handy tool. I don't know how much it costs. I think, I think it was $10. What we need to do, I, sh I have in here two tapes, two different size tapes. And one is the, actually on my right hand is a cheaper one from Walmart. But left hand is expensive one and it's really sticky. If it sticks somewhere, it's hard to take it out. In here I have four razors and one of them is the Vaden Butcher. It's a little smile face to it. Not so much. And as you can see, I just bought this one from eBay. Never been sharpened. Looks like a dull blade. Another one in here is hello ground it's very easy to hone I will just show how to do it it's 48 bullhead hello ground razor I like to show you how I tape first because some people it just tape and gives a little hard time what I do I take my doesn't matter how long is it I don't have to measure it this is my old razor I use it Then I flat, not to try to put on blade and then put on top of it, just keep, keep it on your hand and take the blade and try to center it. And this first layer is gone. Don't worry about this extra. If you want to put another layer, you can do so. And I'm going to do it because of this wedge blade. Again, don't worry about the how long you're doing, it doesn't matter. At the end I will cut it and everything will be even up. Now, I don't want this excess in here. As you can see, I just take it out. And it's done. What I have to do show you so many people have the questions about 